back to another episode of Not Afraid to Garden. Uh, if you're tuning in for the first time, welcome. Um, and this channel is all about plants, gardening, and some renovations. So today I want to be able to uh, just bring you information on another plant cabinet that I purchased. So you guys have seen, if you guys have seen my uh, my uh, video about the Fabric Core um, plant cabinet that that I purchased first, again, um, I had no intentions of purchasing that cabinet. I went to Ikea, I saw it, I fell in love with it, I brought it home, and then we made some changes. We made, we added some grow lights, and we added the uh, small humidifier. Um, so I have that one downstairs, and that's the fabric core. But um, I decided to purchase another cabinet, and this one, we brought it, it's now in my bedroom. Um, and I decided to get a different cabinet than the fabric core because if you see behind me, um, there's like a, there's a slant or an angle on my roof here. And um, so there was no way that I could, I mean, I could have gotten the fabric core, but it was, it's smaller. Um, and up here, I can definitely have one that's wider, um, but definitely shorter. So uh, I decided to go with the uh, Millsboro uh, cabinet. And, um, and it's perfect because it's got, actually comes with three shelves and, um, and, and it is wider. Um, so we made some changes, of course. Uh, we did stop by Ikea in Philadelphia and we purchased the cabinet. Um, the cabinet ended up costing us $179 um, and we got the white um, cabinet instead. So once we brought the cabinet home, um, I decided to uh, bring up and put some of my philodendron um, plants here in my collection. And also I added some of the um, begonias. I mean to the begonia, begonia guys. Um, there are some that are gorgeous. Um, I just haven't been able to kind of um, grow begonias like like many uh, other people do um but this cabinet it's just amazing how these cabinets work guys with with the humidity and and again these grow lights it just do wonders uh to these plants so i do have a couple of the begonias in here and i'll show you that in a minute um but i wanted to show you on how what is it uh that we changed in, uh, in this cabinet in order for me to be able to, to use it for my plants. Um, again, these cabinets, you purchase them and there's nothing of these lights or anything that comes along with that. So you have to add that. And everything that I purchase is from Amazon. Um, so I'll try to leave the links on here also guys uh, to show you which grow lights that I purchased. And on this one, I actually added fans. Now I don't have fans in my fabric core because the fabric core, it is smaller, it's downstairs. Um, and I, I don't know, I just didn't think, I, I don't think I need fans on that one. Um, this one only because um, on the second floor here during the summer, um, it, it gets pretty hot up here. I mean, we have the, uh, central unit um, air conditioning unit here, but we usually only put that in the evening. So during the day, it is uh, pretty hot up here. So um, I figured that the uh, it could use the fans and I am using the fan to be able to control the humidity uh, in the cabinet. Um, so that's definitely helping me to do that. Um, so let's get started guys and let me show you uh, what we did with this cabinet. All right, guys, so here are the lights that I ordered through Amazon. So this set actually brought um, four grow lights and they attach from one to another. And they are attached with the double-sided tape that I have that came with that. So then they, this is what attaches them, the wiring, and then that is being held up um, with adhesive. And then we ran the wire that runs again. Actually, there's the adhesive clips. We purchased these little clips up there. So that way you can hold the wiring up there. So we purchased one, two, um, three, and four there. Um, so the, now the wiring comes down and then we actually drilled two holes 
so this actually this cabinet um the the platform here it's actually it's two pieces of metal that it has it has the first one and it has one underneath it so we had to make a hole on the first one and then we had to drill another hole to get the wire completely out and we did that on the back side not from the bottom and then we ran the wiring all the way down there and that little switch in the back is the switch for the fountain so we decided to put in small water fountain um that way uh, it gives us the humidity in here. I like to hear the trickling of the water um, and it does help with it, uh, to be able to give me that humidity that I need for a lot of these um, philodendrons and my um, monstera and begonias. Um, so then I also decided to put two fans in here to control the humidity um, because it gets pretty hot in my room up here. Um, I wanted to be able to control this humidity in here. As you guys can see, um, this humidity keep, keeps coming down because I have the doors open. But the moment that I close these doors, this humidity comes right up again. Um, I We did not put uh, strips along the edge of these doors only because um, it's hot up here already as it is. I don't need to be able to close it in completely. There's that. And then for some reason, I can, with the double-sided tape, one of those fans it stays up there with no problem. But this one, I can't seem to hold it up. It has fallen a few times and it did not fall on my plant. So I was glad because as you guys can see, my princess, pink princess is right there. So I'm keeping it here. As long as um, it's not touching the wall, the uh, glass, the air can circulate. Um, so it does circulate in here. I mean, these fans are pretty powerful too. And I got these from, also from Amazon. You guys can see, have the fan on. And it's, uh, I mean, they're, they're pretty strong. So it's got three settings. Um, so for now, I only have one that it's functioning for now. Um, only because the wiring for the fan, I'm running it from straight to the doorway here and then I put it underneath underneath here and I'm running and then I'm holding it with a double sided tape here so that way you don't see it dangling there but this one was able to reach the outlet that I have everything plugged into um, so let me show you and then so we have three shelves that it comes with glass shelves and you can adjust them. So it has the these little metal things here you can adjust. So we moved it from here to here, down here. So that's why I only have two shelves. I decided to use only two shelves and the other glass shelf, I decided to put it on top of the cabinet here. And I put that plant on top of there. Look how beautiful that is, guys. Um, all right, so let me show you how we, how the, um, this looks on the side here. All right. So I'm going to have to move the cabinet a little bit, guys. Where is this forward? All right. So the wiring from underneath, from the inside all the way down to the bottom there's the little hole there where the, the cable for the wiring and for the um, for the fountain runs underneath then it comes out on the outside here I have to put a little plastic over it to cover that and then I bundled all three of them and then I ran it up here first because here are my settings, my buttons, where I can, the power, and then the settings of the light so I can control high, medium, or low, or off. And I also have a timer on there, just like the one downstairs. Okay. 
and then I tie them up together and I'm holding this with double-sided tape also. You can see it a little bit there, not much. Um, bundle them up, tie them up together, run it all the way down. I tied uh, the rest of the wiring here. And then I took an outlet here a surcharge here and I'm actually holding it on here with double-sided tape and it's been holding on really good so then I have one of the fans connected which is USB connected here and then these are one for the lights and the other one for the fountain and then I'm running that wire for the extension cord all the way to there um, so I think it's pretty, looks pretty neat and organized the way this is set up. Um, and then once I put this all back, push it back, and my plants, uh, my photos that's coming directly from that flower pot there, is actually just covering all that up there. But they're getting the light, the grow light here. Um, so these are also doing really wonderful and back there. Hey guys, so here's just a little uh, plant tour of what I have in my cabinet um, for now. So I have my philodendron uh, pink princess and that's a new leaf. And I think this leaf came out probably about maybe Maybe about two weeks ago, it finished on curling. But um, I was hoping for more pink on the leaf, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, it does have uh, that pretty pink on that one. Um, so we'll, as it continues to grow, we'll, I'll keep an eye on it, see how much pink um, it continues to give me. And I have my string of bananas. And then I have my philodendron narrow. But the leaf is also uh, considered jungle boogie. And yeah, look at that new leaf, guys. It's so strange. It came in from back here, went up, swooped down, and now it's coming this way. I'm not questioning it. I'm just happy that it has that, uh, that new leaf. Um, and then my philodendron red back here. Now that one's been giving me leaves for quite some time now. Look at that, all these new leaves. And then look at those um, roots in there. So it does like it in here. Um, and then this one I picked up at Ikea when I picked up my cabinet. Um, and it was kind of dying. Um, so they had it on sale, but look. Look how beautiful. And I think it's, I'm not sure if it's the Philodendron Brazil. Um, not too sure, only because, again, um, I think it has the very, uh, variegation is kind of different there on this one. Um, and also on that one. So I know it's a Philodendron, but I'm not sure if it's the Brazil. Um, I'm sure someone knows you can comment and let me know and then I have a begonia here that was my newest begonia look how beautiful look at the velvet colors look at you see that and it hits the light look how gorgeous and it's got that black trimming all the way around and on the inside black um, so as each of these leaves continue to grow gosh I'm in love with those leaves just like the way it shimmers in the light. I love begonias. Um, so they do wonderful in these cabinets, um, guys. And I believe this is a Peperomia. Yep, Peperomia Genie. I've had this one quite some time. I brought it from the cabinet downstairs, actually. And then I have my um, Philodendron Imperial Red growing here. It's got a new leaf coming up. That. Got another imperial red with another leaf coming up. 
at the roots. These roots are growing. And there's another root further back there. See that? So it does love it in here. Um, here's another one of those uh, philodendrons. I just, not sure. It can't be the Brazil. Now look at this one. This one looks like a neo, neon pothos. Um, the leaf, anyway. So I know it's not a pothos. Um, but I'm just not sure if it's the philodendron Brazil. Well, because some of the leaves are different. I don't know. It's just so weird. But I love it. I really do really love it. Um, it's a beautiful plant. And then this begonia. This is the Rex begonia. And this was actually kind of... I had one leaf forever. I think it was this one. Nothing was happening. I brought it in here. Look at those two leaves. And... Look at that. It's new growth right in here. Did you see that? Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Love it, love it. And then here's a uh, pink syngonium. Maybe getting too much light in here. You might have to either lower the light or maybe change it or move it downstairs. Um, and then down here I have the philodendron fingers. I've just been growing more of the roots down there. Look how beautiful. And as the leaves come up, it keeps growing more fingers. Look at that. It has five, three, five, and that one has six. So we'll wait on the next one and see how many it'll have. I think there's a new leaf coming up on there. And then here's a tiny little pepperonia growing in. My monstera. Delicioso. I think it's too big for in here. I might take it out. A new leaf, I think, maybe coming in. Another syngonium. This is the green, the evergreen, I think it is. And here's another begonia, which has been flowering ever since I placed it in here. So it loves it. Look at those shiny leaves. Beautiful. It's just thriving. Like It loves it in here my philodendron Congo green here a new leaf you see that how beautiful that one's doing really good there and a string of pearls and my little dancing cactus so everything is doing wonderful in here guys um and a lot of these plants need the humidity so um, and then I need the fan because it gets pretty hot up here and, and the humidity um, in the cabinet can get pretty high and I need to be able to keep it um, low 80 or 75 um, so I am able to control it with the fan so I am doing that um, so yeah humidity has come down to 54 but that's because I've had the doors open let me close them up and another time um, I'll bring you guys an update on how these plants are doing in this cabinet here okay guys so that's it for my plant tour I hope you guys definitely enjoy this um, and again it's just more reasons to probably go out and try to purchase a plant cabinet if you have the space if you have the room I know a lot of times um, it all depends on the space that you have in your home. But um, again, I own the space up here. So um, I am enjoying this, this um, cabinet up here. So thank you again, guys, for uh, watching this video. Hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification button so that way you get notified of my next video. And don't forget to like guys. It's very important your likes. Um, again, this sends notification to YouTube. It gives um, other people, uh, you know, it recommends my videos. So it definitely helps me a lot with YouTube. So I hope you guys, uh, when you get a chance, please like and send me any comments that you might have. Um, so thank you again. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.